Renee Sanderson has a lot of people to feed. She hits up the easy breakfast foods, the canned goods, the snacks. Sometimes if I'm too busy then uh, I just put on Facebook like looking for a volunteer to go shopping and so I just send the money and they do shop it for me. She pays for the food from donations she has collected. But all of this will be free to the people who need it the most. We're not even on site for five minutes before hungry clients come around. <laughs> they are here for the Pay It Forward Pantry located at downtown Yellowknife. In the morning then, where do you go for breakfast? Well, the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> and today this public park that houses the pantry is the right spot. George Nazzo is happy to see them. You're doing a great God's job. And some people need it, they need stuff like that. Yeah. I'm on the streets for 20 years. I know how some people are struggling. Sanderson has run charities in the past, but she wanted to test out a leave what you can, take what you need approach to tackling homeless hunger. Because the food bank is only open twice every month, but the, what happens in between like when people need it? This woman relied on this pantry for her breakfast today. Yeah. Really helpful. Mm -hmm. Some, Some of the go to his streets, yeah. cut woods. They're always hungry, they get kicked out. And providing this type of help has been rewarding. I come from a small community and uh, I was always raised to give back where I can. Since opening almost two months ago, the NWT Pay It Forward Facebook page that organizes the pantry has been a great success. The first few weeks, and even still now, I do like random people that don't even live in Yelney that used to live here. They say, can I send you money? Can you go pick up stuff? Sanderson says she is now searching for a space indoors to keep the pantry open over the winter. Charlotte Moore Jacobs, APTN National News, Yelone.